Well, Dean, I wouldn't make alternative plans for August 8th just yet. Uh, I suspect we're going to have a straw poll. I suspect we're going to have a number of candidates. I don't know what that number is today. Uh, and for a couple of reasons. You know, one, there still is no larger gathering of Republican activists, not just in the state of Iowa, but in any early state during the caucus process. And when you have a field that is as bunched as it is right now, in fact, the poll this week showed four people tied at 10% with the rest uh, in single digits, it presents a great opportunity for a breakout moment. But so, are, you st- are you telling me not to make plans for that date, or are you telling people who've said we're not coming to that straw poll to maybe rethink? Well, I'm telling you that I believe there will be a straw poll on August, on August 8th. Uh, I believe that candidates will be there. And I think that the candidates that are still deliberating over this, and it's important to remember four years ago uh, when I was chair, at this point in the process, we didn't have any public commitments for the straw poll either. Uh, so it is a, a risk-reward uh, calculus that is going on in those campaigns right now that can they use the straw poll as a launching pad, as ironically Mike Huckabee was able to do in 2007 when he knocked out Sam Brownback and Tom Tancredo to become the conservative alternative to Mitt Romney going into the fall. The governor had suggested, you know, that maybe this thing should die. Yeah. Um, is the risk worth the revo- reward this time around? Well, and that's an individual decision uh, each campaign is going to have to make. What's your advice? My advice, uh, those candidates, take for example, if you're a candidate that wants to establish your bona fides, uh, take Senator Cruz, for example. Uh, There's two past Iowa caucus winners in the field who are both very well known and have been popular with evangelical voters. Senator Cruz is going after uh, many of those same voters. It would provide a great opportunity for him to really plant a flag that, uh, you know, that he is a force uh, in the state of Iowa. And we could go down the line with each individual candidate, but I will say this, as we're trying, as the show the, is pretty short. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's more important, though, that, that Iowans take a leading role in the winnowing process. 